Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right, welcome back to Currency 365. Hope you guys are doing well. We're looking at data because data popped up and then it's pulled back with the rest of the markets. So it's not like it's pulled back on its own, but it did look like it was about to take off. And so that, you know, the pullback that we had, um, you know, because of people selling because before the ETFs or whatever, thinking it's going to be the sell the news event. But we only said it was a sell the news event if the markets climax into the ETF. That has not happened. The markets are down even today. Um, the markets have not climaxed into the ETF. Now, that doesn't mean that it won't. Tonight into Monday into Tuesday, if there was no announcement and the announcement actually happens on Wednesday, like BlackRock is saying, they're going to be announced on Wednesday, then we could see tonight into Monday and Tuesday into Wednesday a massive move upwards for cryptos into the BlackRock ETF. So it could be a buy the rumor, sell the news event on Wednesday. By Wednesday, between now and Wednesday, the markets could take off, right? And into a buy the rumor, sell the news event for BlackRock. So that still can happen. And if that did happen, um, you know, expect data back to at least, you know, uh, up to that 130 to 140, 150 range, maybe even higher, right? So we're going to wait and see how this plays out. Um, what would I like? Would I like for it to pump into the ETF and then sell off? Not really. Not really. I, you know, what I would like for it to, what I would like to happen instead would be like, we, we just, we literally just stay where we are right now. We just we just consolidate into the ETF, and then BlackRock and others are announced on uh, on Wednesday, and then we pump. Okay, then we start the freaking dough, right? So then we start pumping, right? So and then money just starts pouring into the markets uh, between the the tenth and the fifteenth. We just we we start we we really we get going. We consolidate a little bit. And then we and then we really get going right into the second half of January. Um, now, that's a completely different story than what we had uh, going into the, uh, the new year. We all most people thought that the markets will be climaxing right now into the ETF. And, and a lot of the altcoins will be up, you know, 10 X, 15, 30 X. That didn't happen. OK, and a lot of it didn't happen because of manipulation right so uh manipulation uh, throwing puppets out there like like um like uh jimmy bobby you know like jim kramer and others right uh to to make people go the opposite way and so and they're gonna keep doing that with, with him until somebody gets rid and somebody take gets him out of that position right they're gonna keep using him and every time they want the markets to crash, they'll just say, be, be, be uh, positive on Bitcoin. And then he, the markets are gonna, just going to crash. Right. So so that's that's they have put it in his hands. He's almost as powerful as the Fed now. If he comes out and says Bitcoin is beautiful and lovely and I love Bitcoin, then we know that it's going to crash within 24 hours. Right. So. You know, and if he says, hey, I don't like hey, Bitcoin is uh, for, for, for losers, we know it's going to pump. In the next 24 hours, that one man shouldn't have that type of power, but uh, unfortunately, the uh, crypto markets have gave, given him that power, and the SEC under and and Congress sees it, and so they're they're gonna use, and the elites see it. They're gonna use him as their as their scapegoat, apparently. All right, so you can see that theta retrace all the way back down here. We do have an applic uh, a, a patent application. I. I originally thought it was a patent that was um, given to us, but it's a patent application. So there, they filed another patent. Okay, so let's go to that now, and then we'll come back to the to the, this. Okay, so the founders of the Theta uh, Network, 
uh, Long and Louis, Lee, Leo, whatever his name is, Mitch, Leo, Mitch, Lou, or whatever. I don't know how to say his last name, but we know it's Mitch, right? We know he's Mitchy, Mitchy boy. All right. So, um, they, they, uh, they have been issued 13 patents, um, and with six, uh, waiting approval. Okay. So it says, uh, 2024. So this Joe guy says 2024, starting with a bang theta network new. And then once this came out though, theta started to drop like a fly, like, <laughs> like a rock, you know? So, uh, you know, anyway, it says new pay patent application and for so did the rest of the markets though, but, but theta really fell. Um, as well, even with this patent uh, information, that a new application. But I, I thought they actually got received the patent, but it's an application. So a new patent application, uh, application number. You know, there's a number there, and so it's the one. It's the one at the top. So it's the one right here. So edge computing platform supported uh, by smart contract enabled blockchain network with off-chain solution verification. Um, okay, some a lot to take in there, and we probably don't know what in the world that is, but you know, it is what it is. So, you can see it was filed on January 4, 2024. So, how long is it going to take for them to get that patent? As you know, I don't know, we don't know. As you can see, some patents are quicker than others, some patents take a lot longer, some patents take two years, some patents take six months. I guess we'll find out, right? So, we'll see how this plays out. Um, yeah, because this pattern right here was February to June, so you know, not that, not that far off. So they got they got thirteen patents here, and they got six patents awaiting approval. So one, two, three, four, five, six patents waiting approval. The rest of them have been passed. So seven patents they got passed, and thirteen waiting on approval. All right. So I I was I was I got we got that all mixed up. Um, I think even in the Telegram group. So I'm just learning this now that it's seven patents, right? So seven patents. I know it wasn't 13. I was like, where did they get 13 patents? You know, they might have filed 13, but they didn't get them approved yet because I haven't done videos on 13 patents. So seven makes more sense. So seven patents and then um, six are on the way. All right. So that's what's going on with the data uh, and, and what's going on with data. Let's take, go back to the chart and check out the, the all chart is still up 605%. And we're at 109, trying to get back to the upside. I can't wait. People, most people's target on this thing is is a 30 to 50 bucks for 2024. So let's see what happens. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. I should I should have never unstaked. Well, the reason why I unstaked my Theta and Tifa because I thought they were going to run up uh, to uh, 10 10 to 16 dollars, right? You know. And, but I should I'm 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 about to go back to I'm about to go back to staking if they if this thing I'm gonna I'm gonna give Theta and T field to the end of the month. If we're not over ten dollars and uh and pumping, right, and then I'm I'm probably gonna just if we're still stuck here in the one dollar area, I'm just gonna restake my data and T field there's just no point, right? And just wait for them to get to the prices that everybody think they're gonna go to. Most people believe thirty to fifty bucks this year is reasonable. So all right, and, and you know that's a nice thirty x from here. You know, fifty x from here, thirty x fifty. So it's not bad. It's not even a hundred x. We're not even calling for a hundred x this year, right? So next year maybe maybe you can get a hundred x next year. Maybe uh, a twenty twenty five um, by summer spring summer twenty twenty five. Maybe when we're climaxing in the in the five or five wave of, of the bull cycle, maybe data is at a hundred to three hundred dollars. Okay, so and then there's your hundred x to three to to uh three hundred x right there. All right, so that's data. Let's see um the yearly chart. We're up forty one percent still in the year, so that's pretty good. It's a good year, especially if you're staking. You're up a lot more. Um, so like I said, I'm going to I'm going to go back to staking my theta if uh if nothing if this thing does not not move in January, like it's supposed to. So we'll see. Last seven days we're down fifteen percent. So last today we're down three percent. So. All right, so the, the uh, filing for the application really didn't help out on the price here because we're, we've been down since then. So, okay, um, let's look at the um, T Fuel, the other one, and then T Drop before we get out of here. All right, so T Fuel also on the downside here. Uh, you see the uh, everything's down, 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 down. I thought that was Angelino Jolie at one, but it's not. Uh, Miss Tomb Raider, right? All right. Um, all chart is still up 165 percent. 
and which is not that good, right? For all, right? It's, that means that it's falling a lot. Um, you still need to get pat, and you still need to break that five cents and get above it. So, if you guys are on my Patreon, just follow me on there. I'll we'll keep you updated on data, and when it finally uh, data T fuel and T drop when they finally break out here. Um, okay. Uh, so this the year, and then this the month, six per, down six percent. So we had this big run up. We did break that five, and we came right back down because the markets were so bearish. Right, this is when Bitcoin collapsed. We picked the wrong time. We picked the wrong time. We should have done it here. Right, should have done it here. Because then we would have went to probably ten cents. But we picked the wrong the T fuel picked the wrong time to break out because Bitcoin was about to come down significantly and their whole markets were about to come down as well right so um but we didn't know the t fuel didn't t fuel community didn't know that right so this was just the wrong time to break out in my opinion okay so here we are and uh, you can see that last seven days were down five percent and we're just heading to the downside we got to break this downward trend there's a nice little downward trend here and as a matter of fact, you can use this line here or this one here and just go all the way straight down. And so you got to break that. Now you got to break that downward trend here. And you can see clearly here as well. Got to break that downward trend, T Fuel. All right, so let's go quickly to T Drop and uh, check that out and see what's going on. 0 0.0016. I'm still staking my T Drops. Um, so I didn't unstake this one. And I think the APR is still at 20%. It's probably around a 15 to. Fifty anywhere between fifteen to thirty percent APY APR. So, um, still, still auto compounding on its own and just letting it grow. And by the time we hit summer of twenty twenty five, and then we're sitting at one dollar, I'll be ready to unstake and and see what I got. You know what I mean? So, I haven't put any money in that thing. It was given for free well, by by staking data, right? So, I, I haven't I haven't done anything, right? So, uh, I haven't put any money in it. It's this all free money. So. I'm just going to let it compound and compound and compound and compound. It's, it's going to get faster and faster and faster by the end of the year. It's probably going to be up 30, 40, 50 percent from where it's at now. And we'll be looking for uh, in, in, in total, I mean, total uh, tokens, not not in, not in price. I don't know where it's going to go by the end of, end of next year. Hopefully by the end of the between now and the end of this year, we, we drop a zero and we're at one cent to we're in between one cents to ten cents range. And then getting ready for 2025 when we're in the dollars, right? One to three dollars. Okay, so that's what I think is going to happen with, with you know, T drop. But we'll see. We'll be, we'll be checking these out every day on Patreon, right? We'll we'll, we'll check them out. You know, we'll go through them. Um, and sometimes we'll skip them because the chart looks awful, but uh, or just plain and boring and just just sideways trading. Like we don't want to spend time on things that are sideways trading on Patreon. You'll see me go through things really quickly because there's nothing to talk about, right? And I don't want to waste time, people's time, right? We want we want we want to get to the tokens that are actually have action going on and and actually look bullish, right? So if you go to my Patreon, you'll see that we skip a lot of tokens because they are not doing anything. And why would we talk about tokens that are just sitting there doing nothing, right? So we so we want to get the tokens that are actually going to be make people money, right? So you look at the chart and like, nope, the chart sucks. Next, right? So a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people will sit there and they'll, and, and sometimes, and some people like that and some people don't. But for me, I don't want to waste people's time. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to go through all this TA with people on a chart that I know isn't ready to move, right? So I just skip a lot of these those charts. I might even check them out, click on them, look at them. Nope, 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 right? Hold, 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 weak hold, whatever it is, right? And then we get to a chart that we like, okay, this this looks good right here. Let's, you know, this one look, looks like it's setting up perfectly. It's strong hold. It's ready to go. So that's what we do on Patreon. You guys can follow me there on patreon.com slash currency365. We have a lot of fun on there. All right. Um, and it's easy. I make it easy, right? Because I don't, we're not, we're not doing all the lines. You know, we, we, we barely do any lines. Uh, you know, we, and we just, and it's either a, it's a hold, weak hold, or it's on alert, a strong hold, or alert for a buy. And then we put the targets in up and, and the targets in the downside. It's very simple. I keep it very simple. I think a lot of people like it that way. All right. Peace out. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video. Theta with a new application for a patent. Uh, with, a, with a company that has, think about it. Let's go back to Theta real quick. With a company that, where is Theta? What the world? Okay. I, I mean, we've talked about it. It's not here on, on the recent searches, though. How can that not be?
Okay, that's weird. All right, so a company like Data at one dollar with only a billion in a billion um, circulation, which is not true. It only has like two hundred million. I wonder. I wonder if the Data team can can get this fixed because when you stake your tokens and there and there and there's a lockup period for even if it's just two three days, it's supposed to be it's supposed to come off the circulation supply. But thetas don't. Theta lock up period for the staking, I think, is two days. So when you unstake, you have to wait like two, two and a half days. That those tokens should be off the circulating supply because it's two and a half days. It's not like you can get your tokens back in a second. So I understand that why you wouldn't take that off the circulating supply. But these tokens you have to wait two and a half days to come off. So they actually should be off the circulating supply. I wonder if theta because theta price would skyrocket if if the um, circling supply went from 1 billion to 200 million, right? And because that's how many tokens are actually in circulation, about 200 million tokens. 600 million tokens are in staking, right? And then we have um, maybe another 200 million is in private wallets and other things and, and held by the data team for long-term purposes, maybe some lockups. And then you know, the rest of it is in circulation. There's literally only about 200 million tokens in circulation. If Coin Market Cats adjust this number, theta would skyrocket, right? So I wonder if Mitch Lou, um, Mitch Lou, and uh, and and the other guys um, can actually contact Coin Market Caps and get this fixed because there is not there isn't a billion tokens in circulation. There's it's, it's like 200 million tokens that are in circulation. That's a big that's a big difference, and I think it would absolutely send the price completely nuts if we can adjust this and at least get the staking numbers out of circulation. Um, because there's, uh, there's apparently about 600 million tokens and um you know 600 million tokens in circulation. So I mean out of circulation. So if we can at least get that, and then it drops the from one billion to four hundred million, we'll take it as well, right? So I think that's something that people need to do. The Theta community, if you're watching this video, uh, reach out to Mitch Lou and the and the other dev members and see if they can get this fixed. The Coin Market Caps, if you're watching this, can you f please uh, fix this for us? Uh, somebody put a, a put a, re um, a, a a work order in for for Theta to get this thing fixed. Um, because there there isn't a billion tokens in circulation, six hundred million is in is in at least six hundred million is in staking. So and, and the state the, the staking is locked at least for two and a half days to three days before you can get your tokens back. Those those tokens should be out of the circulating supply. All right, so if we did that, we we would jump here very significantly because that's removing at least like six hundred million tokens out of circulation, uh, and then now we're only down to four hundred two to four hundred. Two, three, four hundred million um, tokens left in circulation. So that that would see we, we we should see a nice big jump move there on data. But anyways, peace out. God bless. I'll see you guys next.